Hey everyone, welcome to Kristen Kelly TV. Thank you so much to my new subscribers. I love you guys. Thank you so much. And if my channel keeps growing like this, maybe you guys will get some more bad girl tea. So I'm thinking maybe like once or twice a week, I'll do like a bad girl video. What do you guys think about that? Do you guys, is that okay? Got a lipstick on teeth? Okay. So today's bad girl related video, we're gonna talk about Morgan and myself going back to the bad girl's mansion and essentially destroying it. Um, how that happened, why that happened, how did that come into play and all that. So let's get into it. Brimley wanted to say hi. Brim Brim, say hi. Hi everybody. So um, how did that all happen? So I was in the hotel. So how it kind of played out, I'm gonna do another video because I know that you guys are really interested about like the ending of Bad Girls Club season five, like why it ended the way it did. So I'm gonna do another video about that later, but kind of on that same like playing field of what was happening was they had put me into a hotel, but they didn't want me to leave Miami because they, honestly, the show had like really plateaued and I don't wanna sound like, like I know how this sounds, but really, and this is what they said to me, was that after I had left, that there wasn't really a show. So they wanted to add some more stuff. And I had said to them, well, what about if I go back into the house and I like destroyed it? And then, you know, the girls had come and stuff. So we were kind of trying to think about ways that I could be incorporated into the show, even though I was already out of the show because the show was like really lagging. And it's not just the producers who had told me this, it was also the cast, like Christina, um, she was a replacement on the show. She told me that the show really like went downhill and that there was like nothing going on and that there was really like, they needed a plot, you know, like it's a TV show they need other stuff to happen um, to keep it like fresh and interesting and all that. So I had said to them like, what if I go to the house and I destroy it? And the producers were like, well, what about if you and Morgan went to the house? So then it was kind of like, you know, it's the two girls that were, you know, that were like kicked out that aren't there anymore. And they're like doing revenge. So I know some of you are like, well, if they hated Morgan so much, why did they bring her back? They brought her back because it's a TV show. You know, it's a, it's a television show. They want money and more people that watch it, you know, the more viewers they get and the more money they get for the following season. So uh, they asked Morgan if she wanted to come and she said yes. So how they did it was they had us like meet at a restaurant and at that restaurant, we, you know, like we're supposed to come up with the idea of like, oh, let's go trash the house. So then when we actually got to the house, can I just say it was not planned. We were wearing the same outfit. Like there was, we were both wearing this skirt from BB. I was wearing it in neon yellow and she was wearing a neon orange. And then we both had black tank tops on. It's just so funny because we did not play that at all. Back to the house. And when we got into the house, the house was already trashed. And at that point, the fight that happened in the limo had already happened. So they really, all the girls weren't even there. They really wanted to make it, you know, like Morgan and I come back, we destroy the house, blah, blah, blah. But the house was really already destroyed. And they like told us where to like, you know, spray paint. They were like, oh, spray paint on this wall, spray paint on that wall. And you know, it's a TV show. So, you know, they, they do, do stuff in post, meaning like after. With the reunion, um, Morgan had not said anything to Erica, but then after they had come and grabbed her from the dressing room, they were like, Morgan, you have to go out there. Like, we need you to say this stuff, blah, blah, blah. And they told her what to say. It is a TV show, you know? So uh, like, that is how it happens. And even though Morgan wasn't their favorite person, they still wanted her to come back so that it would, you know, like be more dramatic and all of that. When we went into the house, they gave us spray paint and they were like, okay, so like, we want you to write, you know, this, we want you to write that and go around and do this. Um, 
but it was really interesting because the producers really didn't tell us what had happened in the house but we could just tell that like everything was like destroyed like as soon as we walked in we were like whoa what's going on the house had already really been like in shambles at that point and so when we came in and we like destroyed it, we really didn't even really like destroy anything. That was like really about it. Like they were like, oh, take this alcohol. And then like, we have to give it back to them. And they were like, oh, do this and do that. But that whole time for me was honestly so just soul draining because they had me in a hotel, but they didn't want to let me go. It was like every day they would be like, okay, so we might use you in this. So we're going to wait, we're going to wait on this. We're going to wait on that. So literally like I was in a hotel, I didn't know anybody. I had nowhere to go. And it's like really, really depressing. Just like hanging out there, not having anything to do, which really sucked. I'm sorry that it wasn't like super exciting the fact that we went back I know a lot of people were just confused about like well if they hated Morgan why did Morgan come back and like how did you guys even do that so I actually was I remember I was in my hotel room and I was like kind of thinking up ideas of how I could get back to the house or like how I could be back in there because they had even said to me you know like if you think of anything let us know so I was like, well, you know, like, what if I went back and destroyed the house? And they were like, okay, well, yeah. And like, what about if Morgan came back? And I think it was good too, because they wanted to, you know, bring back Morgan. And I think also at this point, they were like really done with the other cast members. So they kind of just like wanted them out of there kind of thing, you know? And I think the next year, if I remember correctly, the girls were all kind of like really friend, or the next season, the girls were like really friendly towards each other. And I think one of the reasons they made them more like friendly and not really like, they didn't give them all like super strong personalities and, or they not give them, um, they didn't all have super strong personalities. And I think with my season, we all really did have like really strong personalities other than like, like Erica and Danielle, like kind of other than them, like everybody, you know what, and Brandy too. Like Brandy had a strong personality, but she was also like really a follower. I think that they had put girls that were more strong personalities in previous seasons. And then when our season, it showed because, you know, like Leah and I had a friendship. Kat and I had a friendship. Like it kind of showed that people liked these friendships more than they liked, you know, the girls, you know, really like hating each other. So then the following season, I think it was kind of like too friendshipy. So then they kind of, I guess, kind of like mixed it up a little after that. But, you know, I definitely do miss the friendship aspect of it. I know a lot of people have commented like, oh, you know, I miss you and Leah and blah, blah, blah. And, and honestly, I really miss me and Leah too. We had such a great friendship when we were friends and I do really miss that because you know it's it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity to be on a tv show and it is sad that I really you know don't talk to her I don't really talk to any of the cast members I talk to Kat via like social media you know like like here and there and Danielle here and there you know but it's not like I talk to them on like a personal level. I don't have people's phone numbers, you know, we don't talk. It's not like that. It's really more of just like a social media relationship. So it's not like a true blue friendship. So that does kind of suck. All right, so I am gonna do a video next on the ending of the Bad Girls Club season five, like how that kind of happened. You know what, I was gonna do another video with like the ending, but I feel like this video is so short, so let's just go over that. So, oh, sorry. What my understanding, this is what I was told. I was told that the show was going downhill, that there really wasn't like a plot happening, that it was after my exit is like, this is what Christina told me. Christina told me after I left that everything changed, that the crew was different, like they were um, not as like friendly with the girls, that the cast was different, that it kind of after my exit, it really like went downhill, like the girls wanted to leave. 
there wasn't really any like thing happening fun. They really weren't taking the girls out and that they all were just kind of getting like more and more aggravated. And after that jumping scene happened in the limo that they just like put them all into hotels and then they kind of just ended the show. I know it is like a really weird ending. And when I watched it myself, I was like, oh, that's so strange. So in hindsight, my exit actually was pretty good because I got that little cameo at the end, you know, where they showed like different things of me, kind of almost like you died or something, but they showed, you know, like my little exit and I got my little music and, you know, it was a more of like a capped ending where their season together or like the season together, it kind of ended just so strangely. Like there was that fight and then it was over, which I think was very strange. And I think it just shows how the cast and crew really was just like over it because they really could have added more, you know, they could have interviewed the girls, they could have, you know, at least like done an, an exit, you know, they didn't do anything like that. It was kind of just like, let's go. So, I don't know, what do you guys think? Why do you think they ended it like that? I don't know, it was just, that's always been such like a strange way. And I think the strangest exit of any bad girl season. I don't know. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.